So here's the hose pipe, all nicely tucked away. It's drunk up, look, it's clever. Anyway, you know I praise this to the, to the moon and back. The only thing, one of the downfalls is having something like this, is it's all covered in plastic and you don't see it. It's still a machine that would kill you in a blink of an eye. So you have to, it's still a motorcycle underneath. Um, so you have to go over it and climb it inside and all over it from time to time because there's so many people have them. Debbie, this is Debbie earning, Debbie, is this you earning your back seat? She has to earn a back seat somehow, doesn't she? Debbie likes to leather it. So anyway, um, yeah, it's still, it's still a killing machine, so you can't ignore it. You see a lot of these, you know, they look good, but you start getting underneath and you see the plastics and no one's ever been near them underneath. So you have to be aware that there's still a motorcycle underneath. And it's so easy to get in the habit of washing them, riding them, washing them, riding them. They still need keeping a real close eye on them because like I say, they'll kill you in a blink of an eye. Hey Nick, you missed out there, there's three of them. Right. Three of them, Nick would have liked to have been here. So we're on our way to um, the Ponderosa and we've just popped in. You can't not stop in, uh, look at that, an aerial atom. Ooh. Yeah, we just popped into um, the Raven and the Medway. When I first, this, this, I was based here, when I first started driving trucks, because this is actually a truck stop, but the bikes take it over of a weekend. This is the Raven there, yeah. And then this is the Medway there, look. And we're here, just a quick bit of refreshment before we, uh, we go off and we carry on. We go into the mountains from here. Yeah, this is on the A41. So this is Raven. There's quite a few groups based themselves here. Um, set off trips and things from the Raven here. Yeah. So, hmm. So, quick stop in uh, Foot Church and uh, see any interesting bikes. Anything we haven't seen before. Yeah. And um, then we'll uh, then we'll push on a bit. We'll push on a bit. We're um, we're not far off now. So uh, just a quick stop at the Raven and the Medway, a wee and a drink, and we'll carry on then. Yeah, just a quick stop at the Raven, and then we're on our way. So we've come to find Mr. Jones. Yeah, Trace, you all right? <laughs> we've come to see Mr. Jones and Trace. Mrs. Jones, the Joneses, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that, I mean, you might get rabies. <laughs> We're at the Ponderosa. We've arrived at the Ponderosa. We'll take a walk in a minute. Yeah, well, we've come to see, we've come to meet him. Yeah, the wing. The wing's up there in the corner. Look, we've come. Uh, it's a, it's a big bike uh, place. Lots of people come here when the weather's nice. Yeah, all the the nice cars come up here. If you've got any toys, this is where you bring your toys to play. Yeah. Right, come on then. We're about to set off. We're about to go to the to a vintage shop. I thought we'd just take a little walk around. There's that many comings and goings. The, the bikes literally change every couple of hours. They come up for an hour or two. So it's not a place where the same bike stop. There's always somebody coming, stopping, having a cup of tea and going. And the place stays fairly full most of the day. Especially on a day like today, it's a it's a stop off destination. Yeah, I mean, there might be. you could spend a whole day here. 
looking at them and the cars I mean you know rare TVR can be coming quite rare a caterham oh is that a caterham with an Ayabusher engine marking on the back look this bike here it's uh, so much comings and goings What a great place to stop off at. We're nice to have a bite to eat. We've come up here, we had lunch, and now we're uh, we're off going down to Fangochen. Ah, oh, we're in Fangochen. We're in the religion of old tools. <laughs> Let's go on. Let's go on. Uh, have a look at old tools. Come again. No. Debbie might need them for when I come out of here. <laughs> Look at this. That's quite... That's nice, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely, uh, lovely stuff. Anything? Seeing this? What did you say, Stephen? Ten quid. Because it's got King Dick on it. Yeah, that's why. See some of these. Uh... Oh, that would make a make a hole in your in the boxes. That would be where, Deb? Model. Yeah, some sort of um, lead model type thing. That's a, an unusual die handle. That's probably got some age on it. Hmm. How much, Deb? Eight quid. Eight quid. Yeah, hand grinder. The stands, nice trolley here. Handles. What we got here? leg beater oh that's nice this is um no name is that oh these are nice look yeah that's nice these are these have got a bit of age on them wow 20 quid oh i'd say that's a good buy for 20 quid they're all 20 quid these that's a, quite big and unusual, that one. Yeah. All right, Bobby. Very interesting. Some lovely tractor top link look. Some lovely, lovely stuff. That then, the manifold of a little old engine. Oh, look. Fuel manifold turned into a lamp isn't that an interesting idea of a vintage car on a vintage block of wood look that's good that's lovely that is I only paid 50p for my one the other day it's still good that's four quid for you I paid 50p <laughs> yeah you could achieve that <laughs> work a machete chopping firewood plenty of planes Ooh, uh, Stephen, see that? Here, the, oh. here, the oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, it makes it, yeah. it hits harder than you can hit it. You knew hit it, <laughs> and then the beads hit. That's one of them. On a rubber mallet. Yeah, a rubber mallet. Oh, quite a few planes here. Yeah. The weights and measures. Little tin. Traps and stuff, don't they? Uh, yeah. Mold traps, something like that. Yeah. Oh, there's a few um, clamps and stuff. Oh. Right. Oops. No. Oh yeah, slate hammer type thing. Like a thing. Um, Another plane. 
Lovely. So yeah, this is the first thing we bought. Tripod. It folds up really short. It's got a. We got to make a, an attachment. We got a. We got a. Um, weekend shed head. Showed us what to do with one of these, didn't we? So whether we're going to find the bottom bit that clips in there or I don't know, but th that should be easy enough to find to tighten that up. So there we are, see? So we can go left and right and up and down and we can put our phone on there now. We'll make a phone holding thing or maybe find a phone holding thing or whatever. Anyway, that was item number one. And we only paid, we only paid £8.50. Wow, that was, I thought that I was a good price. Me eight quid, actually. Yeah, so that was eight quid. Now this next one, I don't know whether it was the lighting. You tell me. I saw this. And I thought, do you know what? This is a, a beryllium. We're going to have to put it on the metal. I'm, I'm now thinking it's not. I just sort of thought I could see that it's. It's been somewhere for a long time. And it said record leader 16. So I paid a tenner for it. No, did I pay a tenner? No, yeah. Was it 12? No, what was it Deb? No, yeah, 10 quid. Well, I paid that for it anyway, whatever it was. Well, Debbie did. Thank you, darling. <laughs> anyway, I reckon, I reckon this is a beryllium. I reckon this is one of them brass looking ones. Um, we tried to put a scratch on it, we couldn't see it. If it's a steel one, it doesn't matter because, you know, it just adds to the collection. I haven't made a lot. But you know, this has been covered in, this has come from the bottom of a shed. This has been in the bottom shelf the bottom cupboard in the corner of cupboard in the bottom corner of doom cupboard hasn't it this poor thing um it's worked hard in its day it's been battered hasn't it wow it's been battered but is that because it's what i think it is i don't know anyway i have a sneaky feeling about this yeah but i could be wrong now now i see it in this light it looks different. In the shop lights, it was much darker. And I thought, this is just a filthy, filthy one of those brilliance. So maybe not now. Hmm. But anyway, I'm still a fair enough buy for that, isn't it? I need a good old um, scrubber dub dub. So we're going to, um, we're going to, uh, will we do it up? Hmm. We might do it up. I don't know. We'll, first of all, we'll hit it with a brush and we'll go down deep and we'll see what is behind here. Now I think it's a steel one. But even at a steel one, it's okay. It's, a, you know. But I, I was convinced this is a dirty, dirty, a dirty beryllium, I thought to myself. And I'm still not sure. I'm still not So how do you know, how do you check? We're going to wire brush it. We're going to clean it, we're going to scrub it, then we'll sit it in vinegar, well we'll wire brush it first, and then we might sit it in vinegar or, what do you think, what do you think, or is it just a poor hard working wrench, it wants to be stripped down and repainted, I don't know, is it a, is it a really really dirty beryllium? That's why I bought it anyway, because I thought, oh, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? This is a really, really dirty monkey beryllium one. And I'm still sort of half convinced. I don't know. <laughs> don't know now. In that light in the shop, it looked different. I think it could be steel. I don't know. That's the fun of cleaning them up, isn't it? The before and the after. So you know the score, don't you? Do some undercover ones first, just in case you say no. Anyway, she said, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So we're in Kangokan. The sound centre is there. 
this is the bridge everybody knows about the bridge you just pop across the bridge come up the road come and find this building come and find this building this church here and um, chapel emporium it'd uh, be nice if it said Reggie's Emporium wouldn't it but anyway chapel emporium yeah. <laughs> let's go take a wondering usual score if we duck down we know we don't take faces do we so let's take a walk around let's have a look in let's see what we can see there's so much to see there's a few tools in the way i have picked up some items we'll have a look we'll have a look at them when we come in careful what you want in your hand there come here do you want your two trucks oops this way all right sorry thank you thank you there we are now I saw this and I thought, oh, but it's wood. This is a wooden one. Blimey. Cricket. Ah, we didn't come to this corner with a few planes in, did we? And that plane there. A carving axe, I'd say. Look at this. And down here, CDs. This is going to take ages to walk around. You know, it's not as big as some of them, but it's, it's, the place is stuffed full of them. Oops. Oh, all right. Go in here, look. Lots of little... These are the places where you find little treasures. Maybe treasures from your past that reminds you of something or somebody or you know there's you you're always worth if you find these sort of places always worth dropping in because you just don't know what you just don't know what you're going to find <laughs> absolutely lovely look i love these little corners we love these, we love these cabinets, you know, yeah, oops, all right, thank you, top of coins, oh. grandfather clock, oops, thank you, on a hat, into these little dark corners you just don't know what you're gonna find you don't know what you're gonna find I can't pull this out far enough back hmm. but anyway what a fantastic place to find wow stuffed full of goodies Look in here, the music corner. Oh yeah, this is a cool music. I didn't really notice this. A few guitars, electric guitars. Don't bump into anything. I'm going to go this way. Look at this. Oh banjo. What's that? You clearly know there's a different name for that. I don't know what that is. Another one. Wow, if you're a music person and you wanted to add to your music collection, this would be the place to come. Wow, there's lots of them. Hmm, and there's amplifiers, carvings. And you just never know where to look, do you? <laughs> the same as me, you just never know where to look. It's one in Easter eggs. Brasses, we found some tools here, didn't we? Look at that for a, a D link look. Look at these, let's have a, a nice look. If you're into your drills, um, the iron, 
Oh, was I saw something here that was a bit different. Clamps, look. Oh yeah, that's at the slate tool. Put them underneath your slates. That type of thing. This seems to go on and off, but it'll be all right. Look at this. A few. You just never know what odd tool you're going to pick up. That's a lovely little leather hammer, isn't it? Yeah. Always worth looking. It's always worth pulling these out. Just might be exactly what you're looking for. Oh, there's some big jacks there. There's a trolley, a railway tripe trolley here. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, anyway, jacks. Look at these drills. I'd say these drills are well worth picking up. Especially when the wife isn't with you. You can spend as much as you want then, can't you? And get told off when you get home. Oh, couple of GTX tins. Yeah. Lovely, a bed warmer. Do you want your bed warming? <laughs> What's in here, look? There's a few bits and pieces in there. Max. A, a loom, you know. That's a backwards and forwards thing. We got one of them the other day, didn't we? Look at oh, all. Oh, look at that one. Is that as big as the ones I've got? How much, Steve? Eighteen quid. You saw? Do you saw them, Steve? Didn't you? We've seen them for a hundred quid on eBay. Wow! Another bed warmer. We're going round. I'm very tempted by that. Very, very tempted. Blimey. Have we got a name on this, Steve? Makes all the difference. Find a name. You'd have to clean it up to find a name, but no. No name. At this stage. Just show the size of it to see how old, how old, is that three foot? It's gotta be in it. Two foot. Well. Cabinet maker screwdriver. Get your ass in the car and get me by it. Wow. Chisels. Every little corner. Every little cabinet. Wow. It was a good place at all. What a fantastic Fantastic little spot. Tuning fork? Oh no! What is that? Hmm, long nose pliers. <laughs> this, I was really impressed with this. For 20 quid. Look. That, that's come out of a, a really old car in a field somewhere, hasn't it? And somebody's thought, do you know what? I'll make a lamp out of that. How corroded that is. Wow. How, uh, what car is that? It's an inlet manifold, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Somebody's, um, somebody's tried to do a Scowcrafter challenge. Yeah. We better get a move on, we'll run out of tape. But yeah, what a lovely place to bump into. Brasses. A few round here. And there was more tools under there. Pictures. Some Bruno tins. We've seen these. I don't... Wow. Golden Flake, they're bigger. I haven't seen the bigger Bruno tins. Yeah. Yeah, no, gold, old Holborn, there's something in that one. 
Look, if you're going to keep something in a small tin, you might as well do it with style, might you? Hmm? What a, what a cool way of keeping your stuff in little vintage boxes. Planes, hammers. Oh, look, there's a vice. That's an under the bench vice. That's a big jaw on it though, isn't it? You could do some woodwork with that. Could do, Steve, you could do some woodwork with that. The jaw on it with a quick release. Wow. Couple of spanners, vices, more planes. Did you see some stuff in here? Look, there was, there was some in there as well. I want to see fishing, fishing lines, knives. What a fantastic little, Steve, you found this first, didn't you? What a fantastic place to find. We came today with this in mind coming here. We'll definitely come back here again and I'll show you what I've bought when I get home. Hmm.